Amoxicillin 500 mg capsules used for. Amoxicillin is indicated for the treatment of the following infections in adults and children. Acute bacterial sinusitis. Acute streptococcal tonsillitis and pharyngitis. Acute exacerbations of chronic bronchitis. Community acquired pneumonia. Acute otitis media. Acute cystitis. Acute pyelonephritis. Asymptomatic bacteriuria in pregnancy. Typhoid and paratyphoid fevers. Dental abscess with spreading cellulitis. Prosthetic joint infections. Helicobacter pylori eradication. Lyme disease. Amoxicillin is also indicated for the prophylaxis of endocarditis. Consideration should be given to official guidance on the appropriate use of antibacterial agents. Pathology of amoxicillin 500 mg capsules. The dose of amoxicillin that is selected to treat an individual infection should take into account. The expected pathogens and their likely susceptibility to antibacterial agents. The severity and the site of infection. The age, weight and renal function of the patient, as shown below. The duration of therapy should be determined by the type of infection and the response of the patient, and should generally be as short as possible. Some infections require longer periods of treatment. Contraindications of amoxicillin 500 mg capsules. Hypersensitivity to the active substance, to any of the penicillins or to any of the excipients. History of a severe immediate hypersensitivity reaction, e.g., anaphylaxis, to another beta-lactam agent, e.g., a cephalosporin, carbapenem or monobactam. Special warnings and precautions for use. Hypersensitivity reactions. Before initiating therapy with amoxicillin, careful inquiry should be made concerning previous hypersensitivity reactions to penicillin and cephalosporins or other beta-lactam agents. Serious and occasionally fatal hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylactoid and severe cutaneous adverse reactions, have been reported in patients on penicillin therapy. Hypersensitivity reactions can also progress to County's syndrome a serious allergic reaction that can result in myocardial infarction. These reactions are more likely to occur in individuals with a history of penicillin hypersensitivity and in atopic individuals. If an allergic reaction occurs, amoxicillin therapy must be discontinued and appropriate alternative therapy instituted. Drug-induced enterocolitis syndrome DIES, has been reported mainly in children receiving amoxicillin. Dyes is an allergic reaction with a leading symptom of protracted vomiting, 1 to 4 hours after drug intake, in the absence of allergic skin or respiratory symptoms. Further symptoms could comprise abdominal pain, diarrhea, hypotension or leukocytosis with neutrophilia. There have been severe cases including progression to shock. Non-susceptible microorganisms Amoxicillin is not suitable for the treatment of some types of infection unless the pathogen is already documented and known to be susceptible or there is a very high likelihood that the pathogen would be suitable for treatment with amoxicillin. This particularly applies when considering the treatment of patients with urinary tract infections and severe infections of the ear, nose and throat. Convulsions Convulsions may occur in patients with impaired renal function or in those receiving high doses or in patients with predisposing factors, e.g., history of seizures, treated epilepsy or meningeal disorders. Renal impairment. In patients with renal impairment, the dose should be adjusted according to the degree of impairment. Skin reactions. The occurrence at the treatment initiation of a feverish generalized erythema associated with pustula may be a symptom of acute generalized exanthemous pustulosis. This reaction requires amoxicillin discontinuation and contraindicates any subsequent administration. Amoxicillin should be avoided if infectious mononucleosis is suspected since the occurrence of a morbilliform rash has been associated with this condition following the use of amoxicillin. Jaris Kerxheimer reaction. The Jaris Kerxheimer reaction has been seen following amoxicillin treatment of Lyme disease. 
it results directly from the bactericidal activity of amoxicillin on the causative bacteria of Lyme disease, the spirochete Borrelia burgdorferi. Patients should be reassured that this is a common and usually self-limiting consequence of antibiotic treatment of Lyme disease. Overgrowth of non-susceptible microorganisms Prolonged use of may occasionally result in overgrowth of non-susceptible organisms, superinfection. Antibiotic-associated colitis has been reported with nearly all antibacterial agents and may range in severity from mild to life-threatening. Therefore, it is important to consider this diagnosis in patients who present with diarrhea during, or subsequent to, the administration of any antibiotics. Should antibiotic-associated colitis occur, amoxicillin should immediately be discontinued, a physician consulted and an appropriate therapy initiated. Antiparistaltic medicinal products are contraindicated in this situation. Prolonged therapy. Periodic assessment of organ system functions, including renal, hepatic and hematopoietic function is advisable during prolonged therapy. Elevated liver enzymes and changes in blood counts have been reported. Crystalluria. In patients with reduced urine output, crystalluria, including acute renal injury, has been observed very rarely, predominantly with parenteral therapy. During the administration of high doses of amoxicillin, it is advisable to maintain adequate fluid intake and urinary output in order to reduce the possibility of amoxicillin crystalluria. In patients with bladder catheters, a regular check of patency should be maintained. Anticoagulants Prolongation of prothrombin time has been reported rarely in patients receiving amoxicillin. Appropriate monitoring should be undertaken when anticoagulants are prescribed concomitantly. Adjustments in the dose of oral anticoagulants may be necessary to maintain the desired level of anticoagulation. Interference with diagnostic tests Elevated serum and urinary levels of amoxicillin are likely to affect certain laboratory tests. Due to high urinary concentrations of amoxicillin, false positive readings are common with chemical methods. It is recommended that when testing for the presence of glucose in urine during amoxicillin treatment, enzymatic glucose oxidase methods should be used. The presence of amoxicillin may distort assay results for estriol and pregnant women. Interaction with other medicinal products and other forms of interaction. Oral anticoagulants. Oral anticoagulants and penicillin antibiotics have been widely used in practice without reports of interaction. However, in the literature there are rare cases of increased international normalized ratio in patients maintained on acinocomeral or warfarin and prescribed a course of amoxicillin. If co-administration is necessary, the prothrombin time or international normalized ratio should be carefully monitored with the addition or withdrawal of amoxicillin. Moreover, adjustments in the dose of oral anticoagulants may be necessary. Probenicid Concomitant use of probenicid is not recommended. Probenicid decreases the renal tubular secretion of amoxicillin. Concomitant use of probenicid may result in increased and prolonged blood levels of amoxicillin. Allopurinol Concurrent administration of allopurinol during treatment with amoxicillin can increase the likelihood of allergic skin reactions. Tetracyclines Tetracyclines and other bacteriostatic drugs may interfere with the bactericidal effects of amoxicillin. Methotrexate Penicillins may reduce the excretion of methotrexate causing a potential increase in toxicity. Fertility, Pregnancy and Lactation Pregnancy Animal studies do not indicate direct or indirect harmful effects with respect to reproductive toxicity. Limited data on the use of amoxicillin during pregnancy in humans do not indicate an increased risk of congenital malformations. Amoxicillin may be used in pregnancy when the potential benefits outweigh the potential risks associated with treatment. Breastfeeding Amoxicillin is excreted into breast milk in small quantities with the possible risk of sensitization. Consequently, diarrhea and fungus infection of the mucous membranes are possible in the breastfed infant, so that breastfeeding might have to be discontinued. Amoxicillin should only be used during breastfeeding after benefits-slash-risk assessment by the physician in charge. Fertility 
There are no data on the effects of amoxicillin on fertility in humans. Reproductive studies in animals have shown no effects on fertility. Effects on ability to drive and use machines. No studies on the effects on the ability to drive and use machines have been performed. However, undesirable effects may occur, e.g., allergic reactions, dizziness, convulsions, which may influence the ability to drive and use machines.